I welcome you to Revit Tutorial Masterclass. In this training, I'll be taking you how to model buildings from beginning to being an expert. This is one of my model and I use Revit to model this. You can see the Revit file here. This is the Revit file. And I will be taking you step by step to guide you on how you two can model something like this and not just only this. With the experience you are going to have from here, you will be able to model any kind of building. But we are going to be using this as our guide. And I believe if you are able to model something like this from beginning to the end there is virtually no building you will not be able to model okay in this lesson we will learn how to create levels how to set our dimensions and how to set our walls and without wasting your time let's get started so I am going to keep this file at the background and I am going to open a new file. So I will click on new. Let's save this one for now. And the version of Revit I'm using is version 2017. So what I'm, I will do now is you can see open template file i will click on browse and it's going to take me to this folder if it does not take you to this folder you can always click on this um, drop down and if your revit file does not load well during the installation you may not have all this file and in that case, you will need to start from an existing drawing. But because my Revit file loaded well during the installation, that is why I'm having all this. And if you look at it now, this folder is US Imperial. But the, the file I want to use is US Metric. Because this imperial is going to be in feet and inches. And I am not very familiar with all those uh, feet and inches. What I am familiar with is millimeter. And that is a metric system. And uh, most of us in Africa, in Nigeria, uh, specifically, we are more familiar with metric system. But if you are familiar with US Imperial system, you can as well follow along. It's still the same method. Okay, so I'm going to click on the drop down and look for metric. And look for metric. You can see the, the folder RVT 2017. And I'll click on template. And I am going to select US metric and double click on it. Now you can see at the top now you have US metric. And meaning that all these files are in metric system. Which make things easy for us. So I can select any of these to start with. And let me select this first one, construction default metric. You can start with default, anyone you select here, but they have different, different uh, files. So let me select this uh, construction default metric and click open. And I will need to tap OK. all right now here we are 
and you can see what we have on this side now in your own Revit, you may not have this uh, project browser on the right you may have it uh, below this uh, property palette i decided to dock it on this side so that is better for me that way okay now the first thing i want to do now is to create my levels i want to determine my levels and your levels can be created if you are on any of the elevation you are on any section these are the places you can create your level you cannot create level on floor plan and you cannot create level on 3d you can only create level on elevation and section okay so let's go to one of the elevation if you look you see elevations um, building elevation here you have east north south and west let me select south okay so these are what we have from the default file that we opened and if you look at it this level one is at zero level and whatever you have here are below are below the zero level that means these are underground this has to do with foundation okay but in my drawing in my architectural drawing i don't show foundation i only start from level zero or level one that is where i normally start from so i'm going to delete all this one that are below the natural ground level i don't have anything to do with them so i am starting from level one and my level one is assumed to be the natural ground level the natural ground level okay and that means the height is at zero level and you see the height of this one this is this is at four thousand mm first of all let's try and save our file we we'll click on the application menu save as project and select our folder i'll select revit tutorial and give it a name revit tutorial day one and on the options here you select it you can see the number of backup 20 it is too many it is going to load overload your system so i'll have to reduce the backup to one and you have to do this you have to follow this step anytime you are saving a new file otherwise you are going to be having 20 backup which is too much for your system it's going to slow down your system it's going to get your hard disk full on time so i'm going to click ok and save it all right our file has been saved the next thing i want to do is i want to bring this level level 2 down and select it edit this dimension to something like 450 450 and press enter all right this is our level 2 and i want to create level 3 i can simply select one of them and here you see create similar i'll select create similar and you see another thing here 
if i select this one it means that i'm going to be drawing if i select this it means i'm going to i'm going to be picking so i will prefer to to pick in this case pick lines okay so i am going to be picking any of them I'm going to be picking any of them and this is the offset i will set the offset to be 150 mm that is the thickness of the slab and as i'm hovering my cursor on any of this level you can see it so i drop it that one has been created the next thing i will create is the headroom for the ground floor and i'm going to set the offset to be 3600 my headroom are always 3600 so i'm going to select this and you can see everything is aligned because i am using picking and i will use 150 here and pick this select these and type 3600 and pick this one then what we have here is the ceiling level then i am going to use the same 3000 or let me select the height of the roof to be 5000 and drop it okay very good now we have our levels and as all these levels are created the corresponding graph floor or first floor ceiling level have been created as well so i am going to be renaming them this particular one is our ground level so i'm going to rename it to ground level okay and you need to click on this so that it will rename this one as well if you don't click on yes you only have the name here you don't have it here and if you want to assess those floor plan with ease you need to have it here so that you will be able to assess it with ease so i'm going to select yes and the moment I select yes, you can see ground floor, ground level here. And you can see ground level here. Now, I can always rename it. Let me rename it to ground floor level. If I click on empty space, click on yes. Whatever modification I do will reflect here. Okay. So this particular one on the top is going to be my first floor level and i will select it and name it as first floor level click on empty space would you like to rename corresponding views yes and if you look at here now you see the level here okay now here will be my ceiling level or oh, let me not name it as ceiling level so that it will not confuse me with um, the regular ceiling level that we have ceiling plan here okay so just just name it as ceiling and this one will be roof roof level and click yes okay then now you can see all this uh, level are jump packing they are they are coinciding with each other we need to stretch it out so that we can know the one we are dealing with okay all this one that's uh 
that are jamming with each other you can always work on it and bring it out so that any one of them we want to work on we can work on it with ease okay now this if this is ground floor level then this is level one and this is level two it means that this is this was originally level three but we have renamed it to ground floor level so i will want to name this one to level four i want to name it to level four that is the way i normally work so that later because it is already registered in my brain that the level on the surface of first floor slab is level four and if i'm going to if i'm going to a story be a, a high rising if i go to second floor the level below the surface of the slab will not be level six so that is the way i work and we proceed now our level has been created the next thing we want to do is to set our dimensions we want to set our dimensions wherever you are you can set your dimension so i go to let me place a wall for instance let me just select a wall from the architectural tab and pick a rectangle and draw a wall click on this okay now you have our wall if i want to place a dimension now i will have to go to this modify tab select it we have different type of dimension here but the one i use most is the align dimension so i pick that one and if i want to dimension this wall now it's snapping to the center of the wall all i need to do is go to the option bar change it to wall faces either wall faces or faces of core let's select faces of core now i will be able to to pick the edge of the wall okay to pick the edge of the wall all right you can see why we need to work on these things you can see the thick is very long is not looking nice and the wall instead of 225 is 200 so these are some of the things we need to set now let's pick the dimension first let's work on the dimension i select the dimension and click on edit i will have to duplicate it so that it doesn't affect the existing one i will rename it as floor dim and click ok then the the color I would like to use brown dark brown so that it is going to appear well during printing and the text size this is the text size I would like to use 2 mm and 
the next thing is the the font text font you can select any font of your choice but let's leave it at area area and click ok and click ok all right so if you see the color now the color has changed to dark brown then the next thing is the tick the tick is too long to work on that if you select it and you see tick mark see there tick mark what we have is diagonal 3 mm and if you want to change it you check through all these these are the only things we have diagonal if i select this one now and click ok this is what is here i don't like this so i select this one again what i actually want is diagonal something diagonal and unfortunately we have only one diagonal here which is 3 mm so i need a diagonal that will be something like about 1 mm 1.5 or 2 mm i want something that will be short and thick so what i want to do what i would do is i will need to create my own tick my own customized tick. so i will go to manage tab then go to additional settings and go to arrow heads and select the diagonal we have before which is 3 mm and duplicate it so here i want to have something like 1.5 uh, let's remove this two so we now have uh, 1.5 mm that's the one we want to create and the tick size should be 1.5 1.5 mm and click ok all right now let's go to our dimension now if we go to edit now and we go to tick mark click on this drop down you will now see diagonal 1.5 mm that we have just created and select that then click ok ok you can see now that this is short and more professional this is looking nice now ok then we have done we are done with setting our dimension we have set the color we have set the the size of the tick the next thing is to set our wall so i'm going to select this all the wall here i'll select all the wall and i can filter it i can filter dimensions out and go to edit edit type i will need to duplicate it let me rename it the reason we are duplicating it is that so that the original copy will always be there in case you have any need of it okay two to five wall and click ok then i 
now have i've already duplicated it the next thing is to edit the sizes and the materials so i can under the value here i click on edit the first thing i will edit here is the thickness so here this is what the place that controls the width so i'm going to select 225 that is the thickness then this is the material the the material of the the structural material sometimes you may have the structural material and the finishes but at this level we are not going to bother ourselves about the finishes for now we can do that one later on let's focus on the structural material for now so here you see by category so I, you you check here now you will not see anything but there's something that is there except somebody tissue you will not know that something is existing here if i click on this point now before the button comes out okay now here i can change the material I can change the material to what i want I can change it to anything I want. Let me look for something that that is close to what I want to do. Something that is close to what I want to do. And if I cannot see, I will just select the fourth wall. Let me select the fourth wall and right click, duplicate it. The reason we are duplicating it is so that we can always have the original one the original one will be there if i rename it now the original one is gone i don't want to tamper with it so i will give it a name 225 wall and here we have uh, three things here identity graphics and appearance identity is the name is the what identify that wall or that or that material but graphics graphics is the way to show on your computer this color you are seeing now is the color that will show on your computer and rendering is the color that will show when you render it so i'm going to change the color of the graphics that is the way it's going to show on my system to something like off white and click ok then i don't want to focus on the the render appearance for now we'll do that one later on and click ok click ok again and click OK, click OK. All right. Now, if you if you look at now, you see now that the thickness is now two to five, which is exactly what we want. And if you select the wall, you see this is the wall we have just created. Okay. So everything is set and if you look at it in 3d you see what we are talking about if you go to elevation and you see our levels and our wall and we can actually bring this wall down we can set it the way we want it if i want to bring it down now i'll select the wall and set the base constraint to level one which is the natural ground level then the top constraint i will set it to level four and click apply bam you can see now it has gone to where we expect it to be 
all right thank you for watching this video this is the much we can take if this video has helped you make sure you give me a video testimonial so that other people can locate this course and benefit from it as well in the next video i will start planning we we'll start designing our building we we'll start the floor plan and start planning the rooms the spaces all right see you in the next video bye